The next setting we're looking at in the Grades tab is the Grade Scale. To get to the Grade Scale, you go to the Grades tab first, and then here in the Settings menu, you can click on Grade Scale. This is the default one that Nopal has set up if you're using Percentage as your Grade Scale. And you set up which grade scale you want. You choose between percentage and GPA in the display setting. So that was in the last video. In this one, I'm specifically looking at the grade scale itself. So here, grade scale, Nopal has some default options. Uh, the most common ones we have that people use are this A, B, C, D, F, and then this one that has the pluses and the minuses on there. Again, those are the default ones that Nopal has in the system, but you can also customize by clicking on the drop down menu and choosing custom. When you're customizing the grade scale for your class, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, the lower and upper values. When the gradebook calculates the student's grade, it's going to use the lower and upper values to determine which grade that student has in the course. So for example, if a student has a 78%, that falls between the lower value of 77 and the upper value of 79.8. So if you have it to where it's displaying for the student what their grade is, they will see a C plus. The other value you see here is this will calculate as. Will calculate as is only really relevant if you're using the letter grade option in your class. And if you enter something in the grade book by grading in letter grades, this is how it's going to calculate behind the scenes for your student's grade. So for example, if I have a paper and I have decided that I want students to see the letter grade for their paper rather than a point value, and I give a student a B plus, how that's going to work in Nopal is it will weigh that item as 88.5% of the grade and that's how it's going to give the point value to the student. So if I give a student a B plus, it really is an 88.5 under the hood and that's how it's calculating into the final grade that you see in your grade book. If you decide that you want to give a student a B plus, but you actually want them to have an 89, for example, you can enter 89, and I'll show that in an example in the next video. You could enter an 89, and it would still be a B plus, but the student would see that it is an 89 and a B plus instead of just see the B plus. So keep that in mind. You can put whatever value you want as a letter grade override, but if you just give a B plus on a paper, this is how it's calculating behind the scenes. Once you're done setting up your custom grade scale, you can hit save, and it will be saved and ready for you to use. I just want to also show how that looks if you decide to do a GPA value. So if you go to the grade display, which we looked at in the last video, choose GPA rather than percentage and hit save there. Then you could go into your grade scale and you can see here that it does have a basic default for the, um, for the GPA. Now, if you are using Denison's GPA grade scale, you will want to make sure you're referencing the grade scale on the Denison website here and that is listed, and then you will have to set that up as custom in Nopal. So flipping back to Nopal, you would then want to choose custom, and you could set up the Denison grade scale in there. For the purposes of this demo, I am going to use a percentage scale, so I'm going to switch that back here. In the next video, we're going to look a little bit more at entering grades in the gradebook and how that looks.